That is good drinking. Oh, hello. Just having a little tropical tipple, a little nightcap on National Pina Colada Day. Yeah, baby. Now, I don't normally drink alcohol, but when I do, it's for special occasions. And we're celebrating a very special anniversary tonight because, folks, it was exactly one year ago that I went live with HQ for the very first time. Yes, it was a beta version. Not a lot of you were there. In fact, only 48 players, 48 players, they weren't HQDs yet. 48 people competed to win $50. How quaint. Jacob won it all that day. Is Jacob playing tonight? Jacob, you out there? Wonder what he spent that on. Should have bought Bitcoin. Now, this is not our formal birthday. That comes later next month, and boy, do we have some goodies planned for then. But I consider this our XRC. All you card collectors will know what I'm talking about. And I want to take a moment to acknowledge how humbled I am to have watched HQ grow from 48 users to millions of HQDs, and how grateful I am to all of you. So, let's raise a glass. Come on, raise it with me. To infinity and beyond with HQ. The live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I am your most with the host, Walt Quisney, Edward Quizzerhands, Quizzy McGuire, Scott Rogowski. Live from beautiful south of Houston Street on Manhattan Island. Broadcasting coast to coast and around the world to all 600,000 of you tonight, including OG early adopters Noah Kalina, Sydney Cushman, Billy Hole, Carolyn Frankel, Pink Sad, Shrimp Daddy, and happy birthdays to Witty J, Anna Lanigan, Keegan Grimm, all sharing birthdays with Jessica Simpson, Sofia Vergara, and Chowetta Ejiofor. Are you joining our party for the first time? How'd you get in this list? Oh, you're friends with Emily? Okay. She's friends with Emily. It's cool. Let her in. Here's how this works. I had 12 questions that start easy, like a summer breeze and get harder than a summer job at the Iron Foundry. Answer all 12 questions correctly and you win or split our cash prize. Remember that original 50 bucks? Multiply that by 100. Yeah, we're giving out 5K in 4K resolution. That's enough to get you three sheets to the wind and half in the bag for quite some time. Let me tell you about extra lives. You get extra lives by referring your friends and by simply playing HQ. Yeah, if you play five days in a row now, boom. You're in an extra life. It's called streaks, baby. Keeps you in the game if you get a question wrong. You can use extra lives once per game, not on the final question. H cuties, it's pina colada day, but it's also National Fried Shallots Day. Mmm. Fried shallots and pina coladas. A winning combination. But will you have the winning combo of smarts and patience for my bad jokes? Let's find out as we get down to the... Let's get this show on the road. Cumero numero uno. Which of these is an eating utensil that originated in Asia? Fiber optics, drop kicks, or chopsticks? I'll tell you what I like about Chinese people. They're hanging in there with the chopsticks. You know they've seen the fork. They're staying with the sticks. Chinese farmers had a shovel. Shovels? Spoons, there it is. You're not plowing 40 acres with a couple of pool cues. Chopsticks, your answer, 612,777. Chopping bracali onto Q2. What item of clothing often has pockets, pants, fedora, or socks? This just in. Socks are foot pockets. But pockets can't have pockets. And Indiana Jones would have looked pretty silly wearing a bulging cargo fedora. But pants are often pocket rich. Mmm. Don't you hate pants? Well, you love pants if you tap pants. 605,940 might have deeper pockets after tonight's game. Q3. What type of doctor works primarily with infants and children? Pediatric, geriatric, or orthopedic? Eh, what's up, Jack? I take a little offense to the wording of this question, considering that I still see my pediatrician or pediatric doctor. What? Dr. Glassman has the best lollipops. Pediatric. They work with infants and children. Pediolite, 596,783 of you are in tip-top ship shape for Q4. But before we get there, you're going to love this news, guys. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 
HQ will be on the air. Yes, our afternoon game is back, baby. Tell Jess and HR you want to stop down the office, throw a party, get some light domestic beers, some mini cupcakes from Costco. We're going to jam like your printer. It is on like the security camera catching you stealing staplers. It'll be eight questions, all current events, pop culture. It's going to be fun. You're going to love it. Also, guys, Thursday night is our another theme night on HQ. We did movies, and then we did science, and now we're doing tech. Technology, Thursday night, 9 p.m. All you nerds out there are going to love that one. Let's get back to Q4. What is the main ingredient in polenta? Chicken, corn, or sugar? Nerds are cool now. We're all nerds. We're all cool. We all love tech. This question is a little trickier for those playing in Europe, where polenta originates, because over there, the main ingredient is called maiz, which we know better here as corn. Yeah, it's just cornmeal paste served hot, like a porridge or delicious baked, grilled and fried. 459,706 of you knew this one. It was a can of corn for you. But how about Q5? Which hit song was originally recorded by a band whose name is a palindrome? Back in Black, Blame It on the Rain, or Dancing Queen? Palindrome. I'm coming home. ACDC could achieve palindromity if they just dropped that A. But then they'd be the Center for Disease Control. Milli Vanilli requires a bit more intensive word surgery to get a palindrome, but... For true, same, backwards as forward symmetry. Gimme, 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 abba after midnight. Bom, 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 Yes, Dancing Queen's your answer by ABBA. Of course, 229,722 of you are saying, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. The rest of you are saying, S-O-S. Q6. In Major League Baseball, what is named for the only player with more than 500 career wins? Award... A rule or a stadium? Uh, almost 100 career wins ahead of Walter Johnson in the number two spot. Cy Young holds the all-time record for wins with 511. Good chance we'll never see a 300-game winner ever again. Shout out Bartolo Colon with 245. But the best moundsman in today's game can still win a Cy Young award given to the top pitcher in the AL and the NL, 122,615. Vine be the MVP of HQ tonight. Q7, which of these people was president of the United States most recently? Rutherford B. Hayes, Chester A. Arthur, or Benjamin Harrison? Break out your U.S. presidential portraits ruler pronto. Remember those rulers? The men listed here served as our 19th, 21st, and 23rd presidents. We're looking for the most recent and that would be William Henry's grandson and the palate cleanser between Grover Cleveland's non-consecutive terms. President number 23, Benjamin Harrison. 37,166 getting this one right on a slightly savage Q7. Won't go all the way with it. Very pretty close there, but we did lose over 90,000 players in a single question down to 37,166. Fun fact about Benjamin Harrison. He married his late wife's niece, and had a child with her. Q8, which nation does not border Moldova, Romania, Ukraine, or Serbia? Does not border Moldova. Moldova, a land untouched by modern dentistry. Birthplace of Wupikov, you can search the world over and you'll only find two nations that border this little fishy-shaped republic, Romania and Ukraine, a long hitchhike from Serbia. Serbia is your answer here at Q8. And we have 18,586 of you marching on. I kid, Moldova's a beautiful country. Good stuffed cabbage, delicious wine. So I read. Q9, who filled David Letterman's time slot immediately following his NBC departure? James Corden, Conan O'Brien, or Stephen Colbert? Now, I hope you weren't thinking of Dave's retirement in 2015. That was the end of his CBS run. Of course, Stephen Colbert took over. But back in 1993, it was kind of a big deal when Dave pulled a stupid host trick, switched networks, and left the job opening up for the completely unknown Simpsons writer, Conan O'Brien! 11,618 of you. String dancing on. 
the Q10, what element comprises more human body mass than any other? Hydrogen, oxygen, or carbon? We're carbon-based life form, so definitely expect some in there. Uh, in fact, carbon makes up a nice 18% of our mass, far ahead of hydrogen's 10%. I am hydrogen. But good lord, here comes oxygen, making up 65% of our mass. Turns out oxygen's heavier than carbon. And that's science fact. So is the fact that 3,057 of you got this one right. You're now two questions away from the cash. Here it is, Q11. The Nintendo character who rules Sarasa Land made her video game debut on what platform? Game Boy, NES, or Super NES? Boy, it's hard to imagine the Mario series without the wise governance of Luigi's girlfriend, Princess Daisy, who's been in almost 60 games, and to think she was merely a twinkle in a game designer's eye until 1989's Super Mario Land, a launch title for the Game Boy. Yeah, boy! 2,089 of you game genies getting that one right. And that means you're entering the gates for Q12, the final round. Yes, folks, it all boils down to this for the 2,089 players competing for $5,000. Who's taking it on home with the palindrome at Q12? Which of these famous film roles was played by the movie's director, the man with no name, Hedley Lamar or Corky St. Clair? Film role played by the director of that film. Great question, right? The man with no name was Clint Eastwood in Sergio Leone's Dollars trilogy, but that was before Clint was directing his own movies. I hope you didn't pick Hedley, played by Harvey Corman in Mel Brooks's Blazing Saddles. But Waiting for Guffman and the Netflix film Mascots had Christopher Guest directing himself as Corky St. Clair. Oh, a savage Q12 leaves us with 368 winners, baby! Feeling oh so great on this Tuesday night, our one year anniversary. Congratulations to the $5,000 that you just won. Going to the 368 people, that's $13.58. Yes, let's congratulate the money. Yay, money. Thanks for giving yourself to us. $13.58 or 59 cents. Javier Parra, Malro42, DRM. Mm, that's Ronald Reagan. Don't stop. Ma Ma Jazz Bar, Brooklyn Blunt, Atomic Shop, yeah, whole lot of ya. Mm. Think of all the pina coladas you can buy with that kind of money. In this city, not even one. Come back tomorrow, guys. Remember, 3 p.m. game is coming back. Ping your coworkers, drill down on the actionable, circle back with your boss. We'd love to hear your feedback when we connect on that issue. 3 p.m. tomorrow, and of course, every night we're also live at 9 p.m. Yes, every night. For the rest of your lives, HQ is live at 9P. Thursday night, our tech game. Come back for that one. I'll be there. You'll be there. We had fun. Thanks for celebrating with me. Have yourself some fried shallots. Fried shallots. Until I see you later, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off saying, people say time is money. Well, I don't buy that for a second. Good night.